Hey, here's an empty sack, and here's a list of what to put in it. Fuzzy, your list is just like a letter. Always starts out the same way. You mean uh, sort of, dear sir? No. Six plugs of chewing tobacco. Well, I gotta have some kind of a stimulant. Don't I know you, you old buzzard. But if those hills come through with what I think they will, we'll both have all the stimulant we want. And it won't be tobacco. Well, what time will I expect you back? You have the grub ready by sundown. I'll be back to help you eat it. Nobody will get hurt. Driver, get your hands up. You passengers pile out of the coach. If you just as got any shooting irons, throw them on the ground. Lefty, see what valuables our friends have got, and be polite to the lady. Turn around, all of you. Now empty your pockets onto the ground. Turn around. You wouldn't try that on me, now would you, lady? You're sure a disappointment to me, ma'am. I sort of expected to find diamonds. Smitty, get that strong box. Plenty heavy. Get it out to my place. You men, split up. I'll see you all later. What happened? Stagecoach. Hold up.
this fellow one of your passengers? No, it's Frank Potts, the mail guard. Dan has held up the coast and got away with the strong box. And three of my rings. He's in a bad way. Better get him to a doctor. All right, folks, give us a hand. Yeah, let's see him for a while. Yeah. Uh, take him up, easy. I'll drive back to Hagerstown. I'll report to the sheriff as soon as I get to Temecula. Have you ever been in Temecula? Nope. Stranger around these parts, doing a little prospecting. Why do you ask? You'll find out. There hasn't been a sheriff in Temecula since Bud Hodges was shot. Stranger, that's one unlaw abiding town. Maybe so, but I need supplies and Hagerstown's too far. Suit yourself and remember, I warned you. cases of milk, 500 pounds of sugar, and uh, let me see. You'll have to have coffee, Dad, if you expect to sell all that milk and sugar. <laughs> Almost forgot. Let us have five stacks of coffee, green. We do our own roasting. Dad, your lunch is ready. Wait on you. Why, Sam, I'm surprised to see you. I didn't think you'd risk a trip into our lawless town. Will you excuse me, Sam? Uh, howdy, Miss Jane. Your dad's just been telling me about the death of Sheriff Hodgins. What's the matter with all the young fellows in Temecula? Don't anybody want the sheriff's job, or are they just plain yellow? It's getting worse each day. It's nothing but a hangout for gunmen. Why, even the stage line has left us off the route. I'm sorry, Sam, but we won't need those things Dad ordered. He doesn't know it, but as soon as our supplies run out, we're leaving here. Most of the other folks have left already. They'll be shooting up the town. Hey, Matthew, I'm out of cartridges. Run over to Hilton and get a couple of boxes, will you? Right. Here comes one of them. Let me handle in my way. here for those three boxes of ammunition. And I'm telling you they're not for sale. Then I'm taking them. Just a minute. So what can I do for you? Maybe I can do something for you. You'll keep out of this. The lady's waiting on me. That's not true. I refused to sell this man ammunition and he tried to take it. Without paying for it? That's right. Maybe that'll teach you to mind your own business. The next time you'll tell me what I asked for. That goes for you, too, Pop.
Now, pay the lady what you owe her. Take out what I owe you. I told you that ammunition's not for sale. What's the matter with my money? Ain't it no good? You heard what the lady said? She's not selling. Now pick up your money and get out of here. Just a minute, mister. There's five more shells in this gun. You might need them. My friends call me Cheyenne. Did I see wrong, or did that left-handed fellow have three ladies' rings mixed up with that money? Did you see the Miss... Miss, uh... Hilton, Jane Hilton. Yes, I saw the ring. One was a very pretty cameo. I'd recognize it again anywhere. That's a heap of money. Yeah, it'd be enough to stake it, Fuzzy. But knowing something and proving it, that's two different things. You know, Shy, uh, I've never been to Temecula, and there's nobody knows me there. What's on your mind? Oh, that water dough. After you tell me about that umbrella with the rings, well, things seem to drop right in your lap. Don't beat around the bush. You want to go after the reward? Mm, you're getting warm. That left-handed friend of yours coming to call on you with his friends. See what they want, Fuzzy. I don't mind taking them on one at a time, but I don't like a gang up. to Cheyenne. All right, mister, go ahead and talk. Oh, well, I'm Sheriff Rand from Hagerstown. I heard about the trouble you had in Hilton's store in Temecula. The nice job you did. Congratulations. Well, Sheriff, I'd like to explain. Explain? And... There's nothing to explain. But what I'm trying to say is... Now, listen. That... We need more two-fisted men like you in Temecula. Ah, uh, shucks. I can't take credit from someone who really deserves it. Boys, here's the most backward and unassuming gent I've ever met. I hope that when I'm Cheyenne's age, I'm as good a man as he is. You probably were, Sheriff. You see, I'm Cheyenne. Well, this other fellow, this. I resent that, Sheriff. I tried to explain. You just out-talked me. You'll have to excuse my sidekick, Sheriff. You see, he was acting on my orders. I wasn't taking any chances of a gang-up from that left-handed gent and his pal. Well, that's what I call playing safe. Hey, shot. Coffee's on. We got some beans and salt pork, if the Sheriff and the boys could go for it. Why, sure, where's my manners? Oh, we wouldn't want to short you on your grub? Short is nothing. We got plenty of grub. Come on in. Well, to tell you the truth, could go for some coffee. See, we've been riding since early this morning. Boys, loosen the cinches and come on in. Break out the coffee, Fuzzy. Now, when I was complimenting the wrong man a while back, you mean when you was out talking to me? <laughs> I said Temecula could use a couple of good two-fisted men, and I meant it. What about good two-fisted men like yourself? Well, my star doesn't count Temecula. You see, your cabin is right on the county line. And that's where my authority ends.
What do you figure is keeping Lefty? I think he's gone off his nut a little from the licking he took. Just how do you figure that? He rides the hills all day trying to track down that stranger. He's not tracking him because of the licking he got. Then why? Because he flashed those rings when he went to pay for the cartridges and the stranger saw them. About time he was showing up. You don't look so good, Lefty. You wouldn't look so good either if you had the finger on you like it's on me. They got me tabbed as left-handed. So what? They got me tagged as peewee. That's only a moniker. You can change that any time. I was born left-handed, and you can't change that. Besides, that stranger knows I had the dame's rings. I'll get him. If it's the last thing I do, I'll get him. You listen to me. You're going crazy. You act like this is the first job we ever pulled. Why, we're all in this thing together. Now, lay low and settle down for a while. You're just jumpy. I know what I'm going to do, and I ain't being stopped. I'll blast him. He'll get his neck in a noose. And ours, too. Do you ever think what might happen if he gets tripped up? Waiting friend of yours in town yesterday. Bought the last sack of potatoes the old man Hilton had. How do you know? I was in Hilton's store and saw him. The old man's going to drop the potatoes off at the stranger's place on his way to Hagerstown. What a break. What a break.
doesn't look as if there was anyone here. Well, I'll just leave the potatoes. Hello there! coming out. Food draw. That trench is old as a hill. Hey, mister. Who are you? Can you 
beat that. The Hilton's are opening up the store. I told you Lefty was loco. I said if he ever got tripped up, things would happen. Well, things are happening. The Hilton's are back. Lon Hart showed up yesterday. You just heard what Bart said about the Markham brothers reopening their place. What's the reason for the people coming back? Has the law come to Temecula? That's it. Wait a minute. Maybe that stranger. you do anything but whittle? Get that clock do anything but tick? Three days of whittling and ticking on a word from anyone. Why don't you talk to me? Say something. Driving me loco. I'll fix him. Thank you. 
Who's that guy, Jake? He was in once before. He calls himself Fuzzy. Doing a little prospecting up in the hills. Here comes Lefty. That's Lefty's horse, all right. That isn't Lefty riding him. That's Smitty. Where'd you get Lefty's horse? He showed up at the saloon, and Lefty wasn't on him. Mm, that's funny. What are you getting at, boss? Somebody could have trailed that Cayuse. Come to think of it, an old guy rode in right after we noticed the horse. Jake said he'd only been around once before. <laughs> Lefty's horse shows with an empty saddle, and people are coming back to Temecula. Boys, it's time for a showdown. You, Bart, and Pee Wee, round up everybody. Tell Gunhand I want to see him. Smitty, I'll tell you what you're going to do. Still sore at me? No, I ain't holding that thing against you. That's good. But those rings I showed back in Hilton's store. I came by them, honestly. Well, whether you did or whether you didn't, it's all the same to me. I suppose you'll be getting rid of them when you get to Temecula. Mister, you telling me you're turning me loose? That's what I'm telling you. See my horse. Last I know, he was heading for Temecula. You cut him loose, remember? He probably made tracks for the hitching rack outside the saloon. But, mister, it's a long walk from here to that saloon. Well, it's a nice day, and it's a good road all the way. If I don't see you again, so long. Something. Must have a hole in your pocket. Maybe, maybe not. 
No hole, mister. That money ain't mine. But these are. I wondered what happened to you. You know where my horse is? Smitty rode him up to Decker's place. I better get up there myself. Wait a minute. You look as though you could stand a drink. How's that? Yeah, it's good. How do you know they're getting it? You haven't any receiver. Well, I got the best receiver in the world, my tongue. Put these wires in my mouth and I can taste the answer. <laughs> I think he got it. <laughs> no, I think you got it. No. You're sure now you know what to do. We understand. All right, let's go. you been? Oh, hello, Decker. I asked you, where have you been? That ain't friendly. What happened to your shooting hand? I had an accident. Sure, when you were making your left-handed draw. You're wrong, Decker, so help me. Don't lie to me. You went gunning for that stranger. Did he beat you to the draw? I'll beat the truth out of you. Lay off. I don't feel so good. Let me alone. Talk. I'm listening. Like you said, the stranger beat me to the draw. How'd you find him? I trailed Hilton's wagon when they left town. I told him that Hilton was delivering a sack of potatoes to the stranger. And you're as dumb as lefty's crazy. Why didn't you tell me? 
That ain't friendly, Decker. And the stranger wasn't friendly when he plugged your hand. He was too friendly. He tended my hand and fed and bedded me down until he turned me loose. So he turned you loose. But your horse got here before you. Did he turn him loose too? I lost my horse during the shooting. Another stranger trailed your horse here and maybe out to my place. No galoot with a beard. Whiskers knows you too. How about it? The two of them work together. Where do they hang out? The old bonanza diggings. All right, boys, we're going to pay him a visit. Come on. These diggings were just the beginning. You're welcome to the shack. They knew we'd come here. I may be a little rusty. I ain't had a checker game since Sheriff Hodgins passed on. Better keep your eye on the game. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Your mind ain't wandering. Hodgins fell for that play once and didn't talk to me for three days. Hey, Pop. Take a look out the window. Do you know that fellow riding in front? Yeah. Name's Decker. First time I've seen him in town for quite a spell. Decker. Cheyenne! Come out here! Dude Bracken just rode into town. I understand he's known as Decker here. Decker's the head of the gang that drove us out of Temecula. When I take Dude Bracken, I'll relieve you folks of Decker, too. Well, your friends have cleared out. People coming back to Temecula and those two showing up here isn't just coincidence. There's one of them, boss, the old guy. Invite him over here for a drink. Won't you join us? Well, I don't mind if I do. Sure nice weather for drinking. You know, this ginger beer is mighty invigorating. I hear you and your partner pulled up stakes. Yeah. Whoever said this gold in them hills is crazy? <laughs> you figuring on leaving these parts, you and your partner? Well, uh, kind of yes, kind of no. Depends. This place is kind of growing on me, and everybody's been so nice. Uh... Oh, uh, order up another drink, because this one's on me. <laughs> You've had enough of that belly watch. From now on, everything's on me. I'm doing the ordering. Surprise me. And throwing away my ginger beer is right way full of invigoration. And you're right way full of conversation. From now on, get to the point. Mister, where is your partner? Gosh, that's hard to say. You see, he ain't here. If you know what's good for you, you'll talk. I ask you, where is he? Up to now, everybody's been so friendly. All right, mister, have it your way. All right, buddy. <laughs> I've tracked you a long time, dude, Bracken. So, it was you all the time. I left you a note up the shack. What made you so sure I'd pay you a visit there? Three rings, a sack of potatoes, and left his horse. One shot, that's the signal. <gasps> That's the signal. You did me a favor, Cheyenne. That shot was a signal. 
That's my outfit out there in the street. That's right, dude. It was a signal. What's up, Decker? Get hand. Get him up empty. Won't do, Diane. They'll all be right in, boss. You ain't got no authority here. You're over the county line. You're wrong. We've got plenty of authority. United States Marshal Cheyenne Davis made us his deputies. You're all under arrest. <laughs> Telemogram? Sure. Didn't you get my answer? I'll say I did. I'm taking a hand in this. Hey, stay out of this, Sheriff. That's Cheyenne's fight. And he wants to take him alive. I'll be right after you. I want to take you back to Santa Fe trial. You'll have to show yourself to do that, Cheyenne. It's your choice. I'm coming after you. It's all yours, Sheriff. You're not blamed for this. You put the Indian sign on us when you stole that woman's ring. Take him into the saloon, boys. That's the biggest place I know of to hold him. Cheyenne. Thanks, folks, for coming back to Temecula. After that, nature just took its course. I suppose you'll be leaving Temecula now that your work is over. You know, I kind of like it here.